About five years ago, I started playing with real estate. My first three years, I have pretty much bought a home, fixed it up, and refurbished it, and then put it back on the market to make, you know, quick $15,000, $20,000, $30,000, and so forth. However, this past year, in 2021, I bought three homes and they are primarily for renting. The reason why? The answer is really simple. It's tax purposes, okay? When you buy a house, you fix it up, price goes up, yes, you make a quick buck, I understand, but when you sell it, you make, let's say, $30,000. It's called short-term capital gains, and you pay about um, significant tax on it, about 40%. So let's say you make $30,000, now you have to pay 40% taxes, you're left with $16,000. With a rental, you can do multiple things. You can depreciate the property against your gains. That's one implication. Second, I bought this house for $110,000. Uh, I'm gonna put in uh, about $20,000 in upgrades. Now, finish the basement, uh, double the square footage, uh, then I will refinance the house. So now the house is probably gonna be worth about $170,000, dollars What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refinance this, okay? Which means I'm gonna take the equity out of this house back out, which in turn takes my principal out. So I'm gonna get that back, the, the initial investment that I put into the house. Okay, uh, so I'm pretty, pretty much now playing with my bank's money. I don't have any of my money in this house. However, I still get to keep the deed. I'm still gonna rent it, which means I'm still gonna collect uh, rent. And I'm gonna have potential appreciation of, the, of this house based on the market. So that is why this was a hard lesson learned because uh, again, the first three years, if I kept those homes, uh, I would have made a significant amount. And that is why refinance strategy, in my opinion, is a lot better than just buying a home, fixing up and selling it. Yes, thanks guys for watching. Please subscribe, follow me, um, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Thanks very much.